All right, everyone, in the interest of a, uh, just a very quick update, um, I got a few things done. I've had a bunch of house projects going on, so I haven't got to do much, but as you can see, I did get the turbo relocated. It's now in line uh, with the engine, which is pretty much what I wanted to do. I've also upgraded this pipe, found some stainless steel, um, and just clean that up a little bit. It's a little bit more like I wanted, but I'm still kind of struggling to find out what to do with an uh, air filter. Uh, had a couple people ask about oil feed in return. What I did was took some, uh, got a T off of uh, Amazon. It's just eighth inch pipe street T, uh, kind of poorly made, but it works just fine. Uh, you can see, uh, relocated the oil pressure sender right there um, and then just got some oil hose uh, I don't think that's going to be a final iteration of this I will probably do something a little bit different but for now it seems to be working and then of course oil drain I used part of the stock oil drain um, that the turbo came with and just ran a bigger hose um, down to this side of the engine. I was really struggling with what to do here, but as you can see, this block off plate for where a mechanical fuel pump would go uh, did the job really nicely. Um, if I have to replace it, they're like $12. So I drilled and tapped a hole in there and ran a hose barb um, into here. And of course, as you can see, it just drains right into there. Um, it does leak just a little bit. I didn't tape the threads. That's probably my own dumb fault. But that's what I decided to do for turbo oil feed. Um, this is what I really wanted to do was this 90 degree elbow. Uh, picked that up off of Amazon. That's technically what they call sanitary pipe. Used a lot in food processing, milk processing things like that. And that's actually what this piece is too. This is old dairy farm milk pipe uh, that I was able to scavenge. Um, and that didn't turn out quite like I wanted it to. It's actually welded more uh, at 12 o'clock. I should have welded it more kind of 10 o'clock uh, to suck the turbo in towards the center line of the machine. Um, as you can see here, it still hangs off the side of the engine a lot more than it probably should. Uh, so I may cut that pipe and clock it in a little bit towards the center line of the engine. That may allow me to put the hood on, um, but I'm not quite there yet. Uh, as far as mowing is concerned, I don't think I ever shot any video of the PTO system put back together. This thing is nowhere near where I want it to be. Um, these belts, I don't know if it's the belts or if it's something in the system, but these things just rattle around like crazy. It makes the whole thing vibrate. Uh, so I'm curious if there's any longevity in that system um, for mowing with this thing long term. Uh, I did uh, source a bagger kit I'm hoping to make it work. Uh, no guarantees at this point. There's a lot of a lot of steps that have to come together, but it is a powered bagger with the three bag catcher. Um, but a lot of work to go into that. I want to make it mow reliably before I go any further. As you can see, this turbo again going back to the turbo should be clocked in more like right there uh, in order to get the hood closed because the hood mounts right here and there and then closes over top of everything there is a lot of space under the hood i just didn't really use it to my benefit now but other than that still still running good probably don't want to run it too much more without an air filter now because i'm afraid um i'll dust it um i did find the last time when i did move the turbo i did find i was starting to get oil in the uh, the pressure side of the of the uh, cold air um, which either means I don't think the turbo is bad I don't think it had very many hours on it I'm guessing it has more to do with the fact that it's not draining properly could be um, my crankcase ventilation 
um, is not is plugged so the oil doesn't drain back in as quickly as it could. I did some research on that style of turbo and there are no seals per se um, that are supposed to keep the oil in. It's just a matter of um, the oil draining freely. If it won't drain freely, then it does build up pressure into the compressor side. So yeah, other than that, not a lot of uh, updates, but I did want to get another video shot. A lot of people have been watching and uh, getting a lot of uh, positive feedback, which is really cool. So hopefully next time we'll have uh, some more video of it uh, doing some positive stuff. But uh, for now, we're just uh, trucking along. Thanks.